Let's get on to Shodan. Okay, so Shodan is the search engine for Internet of Things and all that stuff. You can find all sorts of things on here. I mean, you can find things like uh, gas tank readers at gas stations and, you know, pump stations at water treatment facilities. I mean, the list goes on and on. Most of the time, you're going to be finding, like, exposed RDP and VNC stuff. And we're going to be covering some basics today. So, I got my little notebook right here. So the basics of Shodan. So we're going to be looking at a few things here. So um, we're going to put ourselves in a hypothetical scenario um, of someone that's not going to be using Shodan frequently, but is going to use Shodan um, for like very simple and quick searches. Let's say you're the CISO of an organization and you just want to do a very quick search. So we're going to do uh, a couple things here. So if you just want to do a very basic IP search, all you got to do is actually just throw the IP address in there and you'll get the results. So uh, triple eight or quad quad eight is gonna be a uh, Google DNS. And you can see things like right here, the port that it's open on, domain name right there, country, organization, ISP, etc., etc. This right here is important as well. This is the time that Shodan scanned this IP address uh, and the autonomous system that it's uh, on. So we got that. Okay, big whoop. But I only care about my own company. Well. As you can see right here, we have organization Google. So if your business is fairly large, you're able to look by org. So it's just the org tag. Well, it'd help if I clicked here, org. And we'll just do University of Washington uh, just cause it's right here. So we looked up org University of Washington. We got 10,020 results uh, that belong to the University of Washington. Uh, you get things over here, so the countries that they belong in, in this case, just the United States, top services, so HTTP, HTTPS, SSH, etc. Uh, organization, right there, top operating systems. So this one, just take with a grain of salt um, because it's an unauthenticated check and it's just doing OS fingerprinting, so it's not going to be the most reliable um, results and then top products again this is going to be just from the banners that it responds to okay great uh, you know we got everything for University of Washington but I want to know everything that might be concerning so you can do a few things here so you can search by port uh, so whatever your organization deems as like I guess significant um, you could search here so for me it's gonna be things like Port 21, 445, 3389, 5900, 5800. So this is going to be FTP, SMB, uh, RDP, and then VNC over here. And then I could probably put in uh, 3306, which is going to be SQL. So now it's only going to give results for uh, these specific ports. So we have my SQL, 5800, RDP, FTP, VNC. So these are the results, the IP address and such like that. Um, this one at, right here is actually a, a good example. Um, and I'll show you what, I'll, I'll actually show you uh, this kind of searching in the advanced video if you wanna get some very specific results. Okay, so we got that. So now we're searching by organization and specific ports. You can specify any port here that you want. Um, if you want all the results that are not these ports, you just put minus in front of the port and you get all of the results that aren't those. So you'll get, you know, HTTP, HTTPS, etc. Okay, so now that we got that, another cool one is if you just wanna see what Shodan has screenshots of, you can actually do has screenshot colon true, and this will show you screenshots that it's taken. So this is usually gonna be things like RDP, VNC, um, HTTP alternative, alternative HTTP and such. So things like this, um, just screenshots. And again, you could do things, uh, search like, uh, we'll type in SCADA and it will give us results of things that have SCADA in it. So this will be like usernames in this case. So we'll have like the username SCADA right there and serve, you know, whatever. <laughs> so you, you get the point. I mean, you could probably type in nuclear and I'm sure we might get some results in here as well. Yeah, we got like Atlantic nuclear and <clears throat> nuclear. So, I mean, I don't know what those are, but it's cool stuff. Um, but yeah, stay tuned for the advanced video. I mean, I just covered the surface, like bare bones surface. I showed you how to search your organization, how to search reports, um, how to search for screenshots, 
Uh, another thing you could do is if you pay for an account, which is $49 for a lifetime membership, uh, I think you get like a couple export credits. So if you wanted to, you could download these results into a CSV and triage them that way. Uh, you could create like a report. So we'll just name this test. Now, while this is uh, processing, if, if you are using Shodan, uh, at work or anything like that, they got different plans. So um, they have a, a small business plan and it tells you all the different um, things you get with it. So you can search by like CVE number. Uh, you can also search with tags if you get like a corporate account. Uh, so you could do like tag ICS and I'll, I'll cover what a corporate view looks like in the advanced video. Um, and yeah, you get API access, which is cool. You can integrate that with your sim and all that. And by the way, this video is not sponsored by uh, Shodan. I just really like their product and I could probably make a video about their uh, competitor of theirs. I guess you'd say um, binary edge and census. We'll just take a look at this one since it's already here. So this is what a Shodan report looks like. So this is what I searched. So it's going to be category ICS minus HTTP minus HTML minus SSH and minus ident and then country United States top cities, top services, top organizations, top products, top versions, domain names, SSL versions, expired certs, so on and so forth. So anyways, that is it for this video. If you enjoy content like this, please hit the subscribe button, uh, hit the bell notification, hit the like button, share this with some people. Uh, but if you are just like, ready to get more out of Shodan. Like you've been using Shodan for quite some time and you just want to, you just want to take it to the next level. Uh, I'll put a little bar on the top. It might've been there a couple times in the video, but definitely, definitely click on that because I'm going to be getting some weeds. I'm going to be talking about finding open databases, finding things to quote unquote hack. If you have authorization, it, it's going to go down. I mean, we're, we're, we're getting into it, man. We're getting into it in the advanced video. So anyways, that's it for this video. Y'all take care. Goodbye.